happy holidays everyone and anyone who sees this this is going to be some advice for new or even experienced carpenters a couple years back i eliminated my tool belt and these are things i wish i had thought of you know when i first started one knee pads are the most necessary tool you can get away with just a tape measure and a razor knife on your hip but if you don't have knee pads on you're going to end up crying about it uh, 20 years down the road two i don't wear a tool belt anymore it's in the crossover box i, I don't need it i have a hammer holster that holds all sorts of crap including my chisel if i need i've got this little clip-on tool belt i went with occidental because you know they made one that did what i need holds my speed square which is usually in my back pocket anyways this guy gets me around corners and if you don't own one you should definitely get one there are different brands but i ended up with that one at a trade show for free because they didn't have any left and the guy running the booth gave it to me at the end of the time there um i keep a spare tape measure in the bottom of it but uh not a biggie and then in your pocket i keep a spring nail set i didn't have one of those when i was growing up and man what a difference i think i've gone for my regular nail set half a dozen times in the last two years everyone should have a set of square nuts somewhere i usually keep one of them in my right hand pocket uh, it fits perfectly on speed squares, bigger squares, and having one with a speed square makes all the difference for repeat cuts. And then someone's always stealing my tape measure, so I usually carry one of these little tiny nine-footers that fits right in your pocket. And the funny thing is, I can stick it in my pocket and pull the tape out, leaving the body in the pocket, and it'll retract right in there. Anyways... Happy holidays. And one more note, if you drive a truck and they have a plug, try to get a uh, battery system for you that'll charge on your truck while you're driving. Comes in handy more than you'd ever know. And one big regret going way back, I should have been wearing a mask the whole time. The amount of dust I sucked down and damage I did to my lungs, ridiculous. Oh, and then this. My Uncle Walter gave me a folding saw when I was going on a hike, and I underused it. Now, I carry one with me while I'm working usually. That way, if I'm up on a ladder and I need to make a little rough cut, I can. This is the one I take to the woods. The one I take with me uh, for carpentry is, doesn't have a curve to the blade. But anyways, just some advice for new guys out there. You don't really need a tool belt as long as you have a few things that can go on your belt. Stay safe, happy holidays, and remember, you're going to be buying the same tools ten times over as you break them over the years. It's about doing things smart, like wearing knee pads, putting a mask on in high dust situations or around flu season. That'll make a difference in the long run. Stay safe. Happy holidays.